are such an asshole. Dear asshole, please keep me anonymous. I'm stage four terminal millennial who's in need of your brand of chemo. I'll get my book when it comes out. Although it's... God damn, it's dark. I, um... Eh, I got some second thoughts about it. it. It's so dark, I'm like, whoa. It's like I created Dark Water, if any of you guys remember that old cartoon. At age 36 from up from a state. I'm coming off a seven-year dead-end job due to my reconnaissance and lightening my bucket list a tad. Now that it's all said and done, I have no real marketable skills. The reason being is because I graduated from art school with a major in drawing. Yes, drawing. <laughs> oh, just fuck you liberals and you leftists and fucking teeth. Not you, but all these fucking teachers. You know, how the fuck do you people sleep with yourselves? How the fuck? You ruin an entire generation. You say, okay, you still sit there with your face. Straight face. Oh, yeah, I think it agrees a good degree. Just keep coming out of some money. <clears throat> I can't blame you. I can't blame you if these idiots are going to sign up with taxpayer money to, to ah, get a degree in drawing. Something I could have learned on YouTube for free had it been around in the early 2000s. Yes, I was that fucking deluded. Um, <clears throat> here's my question. What's a good job for a man who hates human interaction? but isn't a quick study. In particular, if he plans to move west, say, to Nevada. I'm currently seeking my CDL uh, A in my state. However, I have heard rumblings about possible automation and recession and trucking jobs. Um, what's your take? To my credit, I have $16,000 in a 401k. Good. And 50000 left over in savings account that came from the sale of my late father's house. All right. My older sister and I split the proceeds. I Spent 20000 doing our reconnaissance last year. Completely job. Good, good. Well, I mean, dude, that's the best investment you made. Because now you know where to go. I'm glad you chose Nevada. I like Nevada, too. You know, three and a half days. I am employed now part-time at a place pretty great. In closing, sir, asshole, by all means, lambast me to within an inch of my fifis. I would like... I don't need to, man. That, that's got to suck. I mean, the fact you realize it. I think you're punishing yourself enough. I would like a video response, please, with your trademark invective. I can't, because you admitted you were wrong. How could I, like, you've seen the light. What do you want me to do, beat you up after you've re I mean, that's the toughest thing. We had that one gal that one time, who, who single mom, uh, she was black, she wanted to fight a black guy. And she said, okay, I realize I've made some major mistakes. I got therapy, I lost weight, da da da, da and I know I got kids, and that's a big thing. What am I supposed to do? It's like, dude, I'll help you. I think I even gave it to her for free. Um, <clears throat> because that's the hard part. You did the hard part now. I can't beat you up now. Feel free to contend. Uh, my failure to launch was T minus 14 years ago and counting, but now I admit it. Yep. Hey, imagine all the assholes who are liberal arts. Did, did you go get a master's? Could you imagine be one of these liberal arts idiots getting a master's? There's people ruining their entire lives. You're still relatively young. Um, so you provide this link that, uh, you know... Industry, here's, uh, let's go to the Business Insider. Uh, 3,500 truckers lost a troubling sign of a recession that's slamming the $800 billion trucking industry. Well, that's, <clears throat> that's a recession. That's not them going to be automated out of existence. Has been in a recession beginning in early 2019. Um, see job losses, pay cuts. Well, I, I'll tell you this, whether it's automatic uh, AI or recession, you're going to have a hard time trying to find something with CDL license and if uh, the trucking economy is slowing down for 600 trucking companies, one out of business. Okay, 600 trucking companies, that, inc that could include uh, um, uh, um, Enos the Slackjaw Yokel, that, of which I've seen several in my banking days. That's a company. <clears throat> went out of business. Twice the failures. So that was a job cuts. Yeah, it's, you're going to go into a shrinking industry, so good luck. Um, so you would have to get something else. Uh, long term, though, I, I wouldn't... I'm not worried about AI replacing truckers. Uh, because truckers got to go over passes. And if you've done that in a car, let alone a semi-truck, you know, a computer ain't going to do that. So I'm, I'm not... I think those are the over-feared. Um, but with this, this uh, recession, at least within the trucking industry, I think you're going to have to do something else. Currently seeking my CDA in my state. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I maybe put that off. 
I maybe put that off. But here's what you can do under a fake name. Start sending out resumes as if you have it and see what kind of response you get. Uh, go to the one ad. See if there's a CDL, uh, you know, uh, truck one ads. That'd be, a, that'd be the first place to start. But um, I, at the same time, what else are you going to do? Uh, good man for man, good job for a man that hates human interaction. I'm going to recommend again security, night security. It's the best job out there. Um, any kind of overnight shift, third shift is good. You can be uh, not not a security guard. I was going to say night watchman, but that's like a, a facilities guy. Like, hey, keep your eye on this on this needle on this gauge and if it goes up here shut that valve done or the whole building explodes that kind of thing <clears throat> um if you have a car you could pr if, and if you do it right you can make money on uh ubering and lifting although i know you said that you don't want human interaction but you're gonna have to interview interact with some people if you do it at night usually one it's more profitable because everyone else is like i can't make money on uber it's like well you are you waking up at 10 a.m and you know, not going to the clubs and not going to the airport at 5 a.m. So that's another thing you could kind of do. Um, parking lot attendant overnight. Um, I'm just trying to think. Anything, you know, hey, well, we can search it. Jobs with least human inter contact. There we go. <clears throat> Zoologist, actuary. Oh, work for the postal service. There's an idea. Yeah, the, none of these are none of these postal or, or actuary, zoologist, online support. You got to deal with people. Jobs for people who don't like people. Accountant, actuary, archivist. Oh, library. Okay, that's something you could do. Chefs and head cooks, you still got to deal with people. How, how, how are you not dealing with people in these? These are bullshit. What the fuck? I hate list. Yeah, that's that's what I'll be doing. Um, certainly go with your CDL license. It isn't going to hurt you. Um, just don't expect to go ahead and get a... Who's this hot chick? I like redheads. Eh, not that one. She She's not... No, she looks mean. Looks very angry. <clears throat> um, yeah, man. It's it just just do security guard because then you can study on other shit. That is the highest of all the all the jobs I've ever had ever known. Working the third shift, typically security, but any other job will work. Maybe you could be van delivery or something like that. That that's some kind of delivery. But if you can work at night, it's gonna fuck with your sleep schedule. But if you can work at night, you avoid people, man. And it's really nice. And you can work on other shit. All right, questions, answers, links down below. See you guys all later. Toodles.